I'm Joanne with Hasty's Haven, uh, director and founder, along with my daughter, Caitlin, and my good friend, Laura. We moved up here to South Carolina about two and a half years ago. Before that, we had been with a rescue for almost 10 years that we volunteered with. As a family, my daughters and I, my oldest daughter, Caitlin, was the primary rider and helped to retrain the horses. And so when we came up here and we had the farm, we had initially just were bringing Dirty During, who was my daughter's first horse, and we wound up taking two from the rescue. They gave her Hasty, who she had ridden for two years as a jumper, and she had coveted him, so to speak, for almost 10 years, and she developed quite a huge bond with him. So we wound up bringing him with us when we left. So from the moment we first saw him, he was absolutely terrified of humans. He had just been so mistreated from his early days at the track to his next owner. You know, he was set to go down the slaughter pipeline. I mean, the people wanted to euthanize him. There wasn't a vet that would do it. Um, so auction was his next one and he would have probably gone to slaughter because he was not able to be handled scared of everything. Talk about a horse transformed. I saw him he was scared. It wasn't a killer horse, that was one that was really scared. And now I look at him and he welcomes human interaction. Um, he is the most gentle creature you could ever meet. He's quiet, he's kind. He's huge, but he bows that big old head down and will place it on your shoulders. And I swear he looks into your soul. And he just, every day, it's like he looks at us and he's like, thank you. Yeah, I love that horse. <laughs> Crazy, right? They were gonna kill him. 